Hi, I'm Michael Josh, and you're watching Gadget Match. We're here in San Jose for Apple's annual Worldwide Developers Conference. This year's show was all about software, software for your iPhone and iPad, Apple Watch, Apple TV, and of course, Mac OS. Now, today's keynote was about two and a half hours long, but don't worry, we've got you covered. Here are the top 18 highlights from WWDC 2018. Let's start with iOS and some super fun stuff. There are now four new Animoji characters. Ghost, Koala, Tiger, and T-Rex. But the fun stuff doesn't stop there. Animojis now support winks and tongue detection. So if you stick out your tongue, your Animojis will do so too. And now you can also turn yourself into an Animoji. They call it Memoji, and during the demo, we saw tons of customization options for you to create a close match. This over here is a Memoji version of Tim Cook. What do you think? Do they look alike? Siri may not necessarily be getting smarter, but definitely much more useful. With something called Siri Shortcuts, you can create your own voice commands to carry out tasks. For example, if you lost your keys, you can just say, Hey Siri, I lost my keys, and it will ring your tile. Ever wished you could group FaceTime? Well, now you can with two people all the way up to 32. When several people are on a call, the interface looks quite different with plenty of floating boxes with faces. When someone speaks, his or her box becomes the biggest one on the screen. If Apple Maps is not your navigation app of choice, that's okay. CarPlay now supports third-party apps like Google Maps or Waze. It looks like the effort to strike a balance between using our devices and living in the real world is slowly becoming an industry shift. After Google talked about digital well-being features in Android P, Apple is doing the same here at WWDC with what it calls screen time. Activity Reports lets you monitor how much time you spend on apps and then set limits. It will warn you as you get close and then this message when your time is up. This is probably one way to learn the discipline of being able to walk away from these black holes of attention. Now, this app is not just for adults. It also is perfect for kids. And for parents to understand where their children spend the most time and assigning limits to them also. New Do Not Disturb features also help get notifications under control and out of the way. Apple's been working on developments to its augmented reality platform, ARKit. To showcase this, they are shipping an app called Measure that can measure objects in the real world. How cool is that? I'm particularly excited about a new Lego app that lets you play with physical sets and merge them with digital sets and characters. You've never played Lego quite like this. AR in this game gives you the ability to interact with your Lego world like never before. And finally, a game called Swift Shot, a multiplayer AR game. Apple Watch gets a whole bunch of updates, including a new walkie-talkie app. And as a bonus, Apple is bringing back the Pride watch band. This new limited edition strap is available starting today, and it matches the Pride watch face that just rolled out to celebrate Pride Month. Apple Watch also gets WebKit integration, meaning you can now read full emails and web pages from your watch. Apple TV 4K now supports Dolby Atmos, so you can get surround sound audio in your home with supported soundbars. Existing content will be updated, and you get free updates for movies you already own. If you own an Apple TV and are like me, you might like these moving aerial screensavers. Have you ever wondered where those places were? Well, I have, and now with a press of a button on your remote, you can find out where. There are also new aerials featuring the Earth and shot from the International Space Station. Stunning. The cat's out of the bag, and nope, it's not a cat. The next version of Mac OS will be called Mojave, named after the Mojave Desert in California. To give you a fresh look, Mac OS Mojave will come with an optional dark mode that looks like this. Here's Finder, iTunes, and if you're a developer, you'll love this, Xcode. I feel like this next feature was made just for me because this is exactly what my desktop looks like. Icons scattered everywhere. Now with a feature called Stacks, you can have similar apps stack on top of one another. You can sort by file type, date, and by tags that you create. Oh, and speaking of desktop, there's a new Mojave wallpaper that changes to match the time of day. Love it. 
Privacy is a big issue in today's world, and in a subtle jab to Facebook, Apple says it is cracking down on apps, websites, and services that track user activity. We've all seen these, these like buttons and share buttons, and these comment fields. Well, it turns out these can be used to track you, whether you click on them or not. And so this year, we are shutting that down. Many have asked if Apple was merging iOS and macOS at some point, and the answer is a resounding no, complete with my favorite keynote drop effect. But it is working on helping developers bring iOS apps to macOS, starting with their own apps, news, stocks, voice memos, and home are now available for the Mac. And speaking of apps, there's a redesigned Mac App Store that's aimed at making it easier to find new apps like Microsoft Office 365, which is coming to the App Store real soon. And those were the top 18 announcements from WWDC 2018. Before I go, I'd like to know if you'd like us to make specific videos on iOS 12 and Mac OS Mojave. If you do, let us know in the comments section below. And as always, you know the drill, folks. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook page, follow Gadget Match on social media, and make GadgetMatch.com your daily habit. From here in San Jose, I'm Michael Josh. Thanks for dropping by.